for watching the Christian View where we're talking about laziness and it also applies to our Christian life. You can, you can be lazy spiritually. Mm -hmm. You can retire spiritually. You can get tired of going to church, Rebecca. Yeah. I mean, you know, it applies both ways. Yeah, I think what we're seeing a lot of times in churches is we see people working a 40 to 60 hour work week and then they're working say maybe another 10 to 20 in a church mm -hmm. and there is that that area of burnout where right. people are not observing the Sabbath mm -hmm. they're not recognizing no. the Sabbath and taking time to, no. to rest which that's what our Sunday is to be that's some, right. for some it's it's Saturday but I think that's so important I think sometimes laziness and burnout goes back to the fact that we are not taking that one day where we're but not because laboring. in most churches is what five percent doing 90 percent yeah, of the work yeah. Yeah, you got the, the, the 80, 80, 80 20 rule and, 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 and they get that out of scripture and people don't understand yeah. it because it's actually we say 80 20 but the bible says it's 75 25 yeah. mm -hmm. and really? so out of does four it actually say yes that? it does I, there's four kinds of ground out of all, all oh. four only one is good mm -hmm. that's 25 percent of the people that yeah. are actually doing what the work is supposed to be done and so the burnout happens because you have that's that in every yes. church yeah. Yeah. but that's it's within his it's it's within his church yes. within his body mm -hmm. is 25 yes. to 75 percent yes. the other side of that <laughs> jeremiah 48 and 10 cursed is the one cursed that's a strong word is the one who is slack in doing the lord's work mm -hmm. and so what is god's work it's for us those six spiritual disciplines mm -hmm. to pray to read the bible to meditate on the word to sing hymns yeah. to worship all those things are part right. of our disciplines just like exercising right. every day right. that keep us strong they are. that we must spiritual be doing growth takes discipline and commitment it, just yes. like any other type of growth. And we take a look at our, mm -hmm. at our prototype, which is Jesus. He says, as his custom was. Right. And so he had customs and things that he did on a regular mm -hmm. basis every day, even if it meant by rote. And so what, ha what happens with us now, we think if we don't feel like praying, mm -hmm. we don't pray. Just yeah. like if we don't feel like going to the gym. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. This is who you are. You right. Therefore, you do, do what you do. Yeah, yeah. We can't amazing. let feelings rule. Right. No. And, and it's so tempting. I don't feel like doing it right now. Whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, that's yeah. just that well, negative heart? thinking. Hey, how about spiritual heart? Yeah. I'm in heart and charge. So I'm just. <laughs> a lot of it now you like just, that. Yeah. Like, I'm going to take a permanent Sabbath. Well, now you can just sit in your your living room. Yeah. I'm taking this example. Yeah. I mean, now you can just sit in your living room. I know. And not even go to church, which I think. Can watch it on, on your phone. On, on sometimes yeah. it's okay, but we need yeah. to be fellowshipping in church in the body right. with right. other people so Not that we to can. The yeah. Yeah. That's where yeah. the brother we love right. so right. we're yeah. actually with our brothers. Right. But and if you need stirring up and you maybe don't have it in you that day yeah. or that week, mm -hmm. you've had a bad week. But you know yourself, if you miss one Sunday, it's harder to go back it to it the It's harder to go back Yeah. It's harder to go back. It is. Our laziness really can be summed up in a lot of it is selfishness. We don't want to take yeah. the time to develop and the Self time worship. to grow. Yeah. And sometimes you won't develop and grow because if you're, like you're saying, staying at home, that means I'm not making better connections right. with mm -hmm. others because mm -hmm. I have checked out and I'm being lazy and right. I don't want to develop because I had a confrontation. Mm -hmm. I don't want to work through it because this person mm -hmm. offended me. Right. Yeah. Or sometimes the preacher says something that really was the truth yeah. and it spoke to an area in my life that I'm not really mm -hmm. ready to deal with yet. Yeah. So rather than come back... To. We yes. in our spiritual right. comfort zone. Yeah. Yes, right. most and definitely, it's yes. It's just being absorbed with yourself, right. too. All those yes. things you said started with me, I, right. me, yes. I. And, you know, yeah. like Jackie was saying earlier, our, our morning routine should be to die to self. Right. So those don't even count anymore once you do that. But that's that. the relationship. When we take a look mm -hmm. at the scripture, it says this fellowship that we have, we have with the Father and with the Son. And the thing is that we think that we're supposed to have fellowship with each other. No, no, no. My job, your job, is to be one with God. And when be. we're one with God, right. we'll find each other there. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. just but getting we, back we're to trying Jesus to agree here, and it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's such a Sometimes good Sometimes it's a lack of faith. Mm -hmm. It's it a is. lack of faith, and we wonder, is it all worth it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it worth all this? Is it worth it? But then we're not, if we say mm -hmm. that, our it's perspective is faith. wrong. It's, it's, it's just faith. on ourselves instead of on Christ. Well, it's a different right. perspective in that, you know, is it worth it? Well, then you picture Jesus on the cross Was dying and that's dripping right. in blood. Hmm. But well, the scripture Does, tells you know, us don't just be hearers of the word, but be doers. Right. So doors mean we got to put it in the we gotta action. We got to have spiritual activity we gotta going get up. Yes, we have to yeah. do something. We just can't sit still and be idle. We have no. to move forward. Right. 
Ezekiel yeah. 20 says, I gave them my Sabbaths, which that's our day of worship. We go to the house of the Lord. We gather together with other believers. I gave them my Sabbaths to be a, to be a sign between them that they might know that I am the Lord and I will sanctify them. So mm -hmm. part of us going into church, we're being sanctified. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then he goes on to say in Ezekiel that you have polluted my Sabbaths. Wow. Mm -hmm. Separate and keep mm -hmm. holy my Sabbaths. And that is, you know, a law. That's yes. something that God wants us to abide by. I remember growing up. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Y'all remember mm -hmm. when yeah. everything was closed on oh, Sundays? Yeah. Yes. Yes. You couldn't even mm -hmm. stop and pump gas mm -hmm. on Sundays. Mm -hmm. And fish, everybody was going to church. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. That's well, I just good remember days. in my house growing up, you know, we had a time of prayer that regardless of what was going on in your That's life, good. everybody prayed together. The family got up and prayed. Daddy prayed. Mama prayed. The children prayed. Everybody prayed. But now our lives are so mm -hmm. sedentary. We're too upset. We're scared. We're going to upset Johnny right. if we go to his room and knock it's on the right. door so and say, true. get up to come yeah, pray. It's such a yeah. hard week. They've had a hard week in with school. Yeah. They've had yeah. a hard so week with work. Yeah. So yeah. how can we make them go to church? It's their only day to sleep and, in. And so yeah. 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 We end up, we end up I, forsaking I was of the, yeah. the, the yeah. natural Sabbath, if you would. So there, then therefore we end up forsaking the spiritual mm. one as well yes. because now mm -hmm. we are the house of the Holy Spirit, but we end up now not resting in Christ. We end up uh, being a people that are worried and that are always uh, uh, ripping to and from and everything right. else, and we have no True. time for God. God. Too busy and, and distracted. Busy, which is mm -hmm. And every time that you ask somebody, yes. you know, are you, you know, are you busy? It, it's, right. it's become almost as if you're saying, I'm not in love with God if you don't say you are busy. It's like a yeah. badge mm -hmm. of honor. Oh, I'm so busy. I'm so busy. You know, and I think we talked about yeah. Janine is, saying, is, you know, no, I've been productive. No, I'm productive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know, um, you have to find that balance. You do. You have to find I know it. in my house, so one of the things like with my personal life, mostly God wakes me up at 3 a.m. to pray. Me too, me too, and I have to go to work, you know, I have yeah. to get up. That's right. I get like up God, at 3, know, I right. roll over and I pray, you know, and That's my right. oldest daughter, when she, before she married and moved away, her bedroom was underneath my bedroom and she was like, oh God. She said, every time, three o'clock, you keep waking up and you're moving around in the room, you're waking me up. I said, well, you know what, maybe you need to start praying at three o'clock. Right, right. If it's waking get on my up, schedule. Yeah. 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 Get your yeah. 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 A good test of spiritual laziness, too, a study was done by the Barna Group that talked about how many Christians actually bring other people to the Lord. Mm. And wow. over 85% yes. it yes. was found of Christians in that's America right. have never led wow. anybody to And we to have the Christ. ministry of reconciliation. That's yes. the only that's thing it. that we're all supposed to share as far as ministry is that, that I don't care whether you're an you're apostle, I don't care whether you're the last person on the, on the last row. We all have the ministry mm, of right. reconciling the world back unto yes. God. You know, and well, you know what? We're not leading them because we don't care. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You've got to care. You've got to have that burden. Yeah. 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 Stay yeah. with us. We'll be right back. People don't care. Yeah. for watching The Christian View today, and we urge all of you to get out of those spiritual comfort zones, and like Jesus said, go and tell, and we'll see you next time on The Christian View.